This is a presentation on the Outlook web application and sending email from the cloud. It will include adding attachments and signatures to messages and searching folders for previous messages. To start with, creating a new message, just choose new mail. Notice difference between Outlook and first class. Outlook, the two line is at the top of the message. Subject line is below. Enter addresses in the two lines separating multiple addresses with a semicolon. As in first class, Outlook will remember frequently used addresses. And also like first class, you can select contacts directly from your address book. To open the address book, just click on two. Your personal contact list opens and then just double click on any names that you need. Okay. And all of your messages appear right there in the two line. Enter the subject and then the text of the message. Outlook has functions similar to Microsoft Word for you to adjust text attributes and layout. Put my signature in bold, put my text in an alternate color. and change my font size. Next, I will add an attachment to my message. To add attachments, just choose the paperclip or insert. And in this case, I will choose attachment. I will take this attachment right here on my desktop. Other things I can insert are pictures into the body of my message. I want this message to be sent out marked uh, with high importance. To do that, I'll just choose the three dot ellipsis at the top of the message where I can set high importance and you'll see the message is going to be delivered with an exclamation point. And this message I have already attached a default signature and I will send this message and then demonstrate how to create that default signature. I will also send a copy of the message to myself so that we can look at it from the inbox. Notice my message just arrived. I saw an alert at the top of my screen. Again, I'll arrange my messages by date to see these new messages. And here's my test message with the attachments and the picture. It is marked for high importance. To add a default signature to all outgoing messages, click the gear icon in the gray box, then choose options. And when your screen of options opens, choose settings. Enter your signature in the email signature box, and I will change mine up just a little bit. I have checked automatically include my signature on messages I send, and it will go out with all of my future messages, and I will save. I'm returning to Outlook and the next new message I create 
has my newly updated signature. Next, I'll talk about searching for previous messages. The Outlook search produces much better results than you achieved in first class. First class only searched the subject line and the to line. Outlook searches the complete text of the message and the complete text of any attachments. To search for messages, place the cursor in the search mail and people box at the top of the view pane. And for example, if I search on the word porcupine, it is highlighted in all of my retrieved messages. Click the X on the right to clear the search and begin again to search for messages from Andrew Jones. I'll choose that and here I have all of Andrew Jones's messages. Additional ways to organize your emails. The menu below the search box gives me several choices of ways to arrange my messages. To find all of my messages that have attachments, I'll choose attachments. I can do the same thing for any item that is set at high importance. As with first class, you can find related messages if you arrange them by conversation. To arrange by conversation, I'll go back to the drop down menu. And my bottom choice, I will turn on the conversation view in my view pane. When you find your conversation, click the arrow next to the message and you will find its history. In this case, the first message in this conversation began with Paula Ames and proceeds through various senders until the most recent comment was added to the conversation by Connie. And I will turn the conversation view off. And my messages have rearranged themselves by date. This completes the presentation on creating new messages with attachments and signatures and searching for messages and conversations. Additional presentations will focus on using the Outlook calendar, the address book, and OneDrive.